Yo, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another Madden 20 online CFM game. We are now in week 11 of the 2023 season here in the Premier Madden League, and tonight our Miami Dolphins are once again playing on primetime television at MetLife Stadium. This time around, it's Monday Night Football against the New York Jets. And these two AFC East rivals right now are on completely opposite streaks. On one end of the spectrum, the New York Jets enter tonight's game with a five-game losing streak. And if they cannot defeat the Dolphins tonight, they can probably kiss their chances of making the playoffs goodbye. On the other side, our Miami Dolphins are on an eight-game winning streak undefeated since that opening night loss to the New York Giants. But our only loss of the season did come at MetLife Stadium. So is MetLife our kryptonite? I don't know. What we do know is that the Jets and the Dolphins have already played once this season. And of course, you guys have to remember the way that game ended. It was overtime and Taysom Hill delivered the game winning touchdown pass to DeAndre Hopkins. What do we have for an encore? Let's find out. We have Kalen Balaj back in the fold today. Balaj will immediately become the starting running back. We'll still have Corey Grant and Miles Sanders in the fold. Here we are. Beautiful weather. Stadium's looking as packed as ever. Monday night football. We are underway. That's Dotson looking to return to kickoff. And Dotson has been electric lately. Let's see what he's got this time to start the game. Dotson spinning and down at the 27 yard line. Deshaun Watson and the offense are coming off of a terrific outing against the Philadelphia Eagles. Looking to keep the momentum going. That's a gain of two for Watson. Next play. Watson middle looking for Godwin who cannot make the catch. Chris Godwin and DeAndre Hopkins enter this game on fire as Watson's got the time Watson leaving the pocket look at all of this time all this space but Watson still holding now firing in the corner and that is actually being called a catch it's they have given the catch to Dotson and I can't believe the Jets aren't trying to challenge this play right now because there is no way that was a catch I'm not sure Dotson got either foot in bounds and we get the snap off a gain of four for Belage in his return to action but more importantly, we should not be here right now. The dry somehow is still alive. And on third down, Corey Grant just stumbling into his own line. But that's how you run the ball in Madden 20, I suppose. Just run into your own guys, get the first down, live on to play another down. Looking for Godwin. Oh, but Chris Godwin can't make that catch. Godwin not out to the greatest of starts. We have a third down, five wide. Deshaun Watson, he's feeling the pressure from Chase Young, who pops him. Watson gets the ball out, so it's going to be an incompletion and Joey Sly steps on the field windy conditions but not a problem for Joey Sly who stays perfect this season considering the seasons we've had with Sly the past couple of years in the CFM Joey Sly has not missed a PAT or a field goal all year long we're in week 11 so that's pretty impressive here comes the Jets offense being led by Emery Jones and Jones got to get it off he goes to Zamir White the former Georgia Bulldog that's not going to get him too much though five wide for Jones on third down quick one and that's going to be incomplete he won the tight end OJ Howard but Baker's there, right place, right time, swat the ball, and a three and out by the Jets offense. I still can't believe they called that one out of bounds play a catch. <laughs> now that's just silly as we go to Chris Godwin underneath. Chris Godwin's going to get the nice gain. Of course, Chris Godwin, he's got some speed so we can take those drags upfield. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter how much speed you have. When there's that many block sheds, you're going to be taken down for a loss. Third down and six for Deshaun Watson rolling to the left once again. He's taking off. This time, he gets away from Young and gets the first down. When we played the Jets in week two, the Jets pass rush completely dominated the second half of the game. And now we have Deshaun Watson, so we'll see what Watson can bring. Watson hit as he throws the ball. I mean, the good news is the last ditch is paying off for us. The bad news is that pass rush is still fierce for the Jets. Chase Young and Charles Harris as the bookend rushers. Big Q inside. Watson on third down, stepping up. Here comes CJ Mosley for the sack. That's the problem, especially in Madden 20. As you step up in the pocket, if someone has a quarterback spy there, you're pretty much doomed anyway. So it's kind of a tricky tie rope. And if you stay in the pocket, you stay back there, you're probably getting sacked by one of those edge rushers. And 
that seems to be the perfect formula of defense that the Jets are playing as we have Zamir White, who had a pretty good game in the Week 2 outing, had over 100 yards rushing so far, not too much, third down, Jones, he's going to get the bubble pass off to Garrett Wilson, who gets destroyed by Caden Stearns, but gets the first down nonetheless, here's Rashad Penny, the former Seahawk running the ball, not going to get too much as we have a man in motion, this is Wilson once again, oh man, Wilson popped by Stearns once more, Oh, how is Wilson hanging on to this ball? Good play by the Jets. Well, until now, Jones is taken down, and Jernard Avery gets the sack. Avery had a sack last week as well, so uh, good play there by the former Brown as we have Zamir White underneath. Zamir White with that jukebox trying to make someone miss, but you don't make Stearns miss too often. It's now third down in 19, and Marie Jones backing way up. Now downfield, jump ball for Tylen Wallace, but that's not going to work out. Swatted away, and another punt by the Jets offense and this Miami defense has really been the story of this team yeah we're having fun with the offense in some of these games but it's really been defense that has been riding us the pass defense has been locked down the rushing defense has been good enough I mean it's as good as it gets in Madden 20 I suppose third down and 12 from her own seven yard line whoa Harris is down Watson still up Watson looking to escape and taken down by CJ Mosley it doesn't count as a sack it might as well Harris applying the immediate Immediate pressure and Watson unfortunately not really able to do much there and you know even with that escape artist we're still struggling to contain this pass rush so we're gonna have to make some adjustments in the meantime the Jets definitely have to get their offense up a gear this is the way the Jets seem to play for you know the most part in these Dolphins versus Jets games the Jets offense usually starts off slow and then eventually starts picking up momentum as the game goes on so as we play right now, the one thing we do not want to do is give up a touchdown. Third down and seven. We don't even want to give up the first down as Jones in trouble. And down again. It's Jernard Avery again. Hello, Jernard. He's trying to earn himself some snaps as we have a long field goal attempt. That is short. No good. Gay, not enough leg. Just like week two, Matt Gay comes up short. And our Dolphins get pretty good field position. Maintain the three-point lead past midfield. Kalen Balaj getting a lot here. Balaj downfield. Finally taken down by Jamal Adams as we hit the two-minute warning. Here's Watson. He wants the end zone. Godwin. Oh, if he made that cash, that would have been spectacular. Instead, we have a second down. Watson gets it off underneath. Jameson Crowder, the former New York Jet. He's got the first down. He's got us a goal to go at the six-yard line as we hand off the Kalen Balaj. But big Quinn and Williams able to snuff that play out. Second down. Dotson's in motion on the sweep. Dotson battling and swarmed by the New York Jets. And no time out here by the Dolphins. They're going to let this clock run down here under 15 seconds to go in the half. Five wide for Watson. Going to have to get this snap off. Finally does. Watson up high. That's a catch. Inbounds. Touchdown. Hopkins gets both feet inbounds. And the red zone specialist, Nuke Hopkins, does it again. When the Dolphins enter the red zone, you have to watch out for number 10. That man might as well be double, even triple team. Whether he's running up the seams, whether he's pressed up at the line of scrimmage, he's always been getting it done for us, and that was a big play to get us a two-possession lead as the first half dawns down one more play before the end of the first half, and our Dolphins managed the clock beautifully. Took away the last three minutes, didn't give the Jets to answer back, a time to answer back, which is big because the Jets do get ball to start the second half as we have Logan looking to return the ball a little bit of hesitation there from the return he still gets to the 25 yard line Emery Jones not out to a good start in this one the passing game just has not been there but as we've gone over the pass defense for the Miami Dolphins has been sensational the past couple of weeks the Eagles tried to pass the ball on us didn't work out the Cowboys tried to pass Jordan Love threw a lot of interceptions Emory Jones is trying to pass Look at these stats, 46 passing yards, and we're in the second half. Jones, though, able to connect with his superstar rookie receiver for the first down exactly at midfield. Oh, Howard, looked like he was going to get him a big first down instead of an even bigger hit as Sternberger makes the catch. This time we have a tight end taking the offense to the 32. Zamir White would easily his best run of the day. The Jets are on the move. The Jets once again trying to be a second-half team, but with us Malik Harrison who gets the tackle for Lost, second down Jones wants the end zone and that's intercepted 
lifted up high and the ball falls in the hands of Jerome Baker who takes it out the end zone down at the 14 big stop by the Miami defense and once again pass coverage has been absolutely locked down decent game for Kalen Bouage 10 rushes 58 yards that's about all you can ask for oh man um, not much there in the passing attack. So we're going to go once again with Balage. But Travis J gets the tackle almost for loss. Third down spread formation for Watson, who once again rolling to that left side. Seems to be a tendency here as we playmaker Jamison Crowder. And Crowder is going to be getting the first down. Oh, wow. That play was shut down. But Watson's ability to extend the plays, not only just escape artists out the area, but just roll the pocket, keep the play alive. And eventually find the receiver. That time it was Crowder. And, you know, just a nice little playmaker working out there for us as we have a new set of downs. Watson in trouble. Watson looking downfield. Paulson wide open. Now that's using a skate part to our advantage. Because we were about to get sacked. Left the pocket. And at the last second, I looked upfield and I said, hey. This guy looks pretty open. Second down and nine. Here's Watson in trouble. Just gets it off. It's Taysom Hill with the catch. Taysom Hill hasn't been involved too far and too much in this game like the week two matchup as we have Hawkins on third down. That's going to be deflected out of bounds. And Joey Sly once again on the field. Field goal up and good late in the third quarter at this point we just got to play a smart football game you know don't turn it over i thought that deandre hopkins play was going to work out for us i tried to possession catch it probably should have tried to aggressive catch it because it actually nearly got intercepted by the cornerback so you know we just got to play disciplined defense what we've been doing all game long don't give up the big play shut down the rushing attack oh my look at mcmillan up the middle third down and 18 to start the fourth quarter jones oh he had him oh he had wilson but wilson doesn't have the football that's a heartbreaker for the jets and they have to punt the ball on fourth down and 18 and now our dolphins offense has a chance to chew clock and or put the final dagger in not only this game but the Jets season as we have Watson play action faking the sweep downfield that was almost intercepted Jamal Adams does not get both feet in bounds we live to play another down it's third and nine Watson's got the time not anymore oh man just in a snap of a finger that Jets pass rush can be absolutely unleashed and that's going to be Quinn and Williams credited for the sack Chase Young was also applying the pressure Logan on the return trying to stretch the field but decent enough containment by the Miami Dolphins and eventually we make the tackle that offensive drive probably our worst of the whole game but as long as we keep playing the defense we've been playing all game long not giving up you know the big play just make the Jets work for what they want and let that pass rush eat we should be good you don't always have to win games by having an electric offense sometimes you just got to trust that defense third down though that's gonna be a perfect pass from Joe to the former Oklahoma State Cowboy, Tylen Wallace. Malik Harrison, good for a sack of game. What a great time it was. Whoa, Stearns making the tackle minimal gain. That'll keep the clock going under six minutes to go in regulation. Maybe not the game, though, as we have Jones just checking it down on third down and long. Samir White trying to do what he can, but only going to get four yards. The Jets have to go for it here. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Jones, oh, whoa. That's going to be swatted. Emery Jones under pressure from Derek Brown, and he took his shot for Wallace once again. This time, though, bracket coverage gets the job done, and now our Dolphins trying to run a four-minute offense put this game away Corey Grant getting the pitch but not able to escape Blake Cashman third down and six a conversion here would be huge as Deshaun Watson oh no Crowder's lost it a fumble and an immediate recovery Charles Harris gets it and it was CJ Mosley who stripped the ball it looked like we might get the first down now all of a sudden the Jets have great field position as Caden Stearns lays the lumber I would have been okay with punting the ball and making the Jets work from way back in their own territory, but now they have pretty decent position, but what they do not have is a lot of time to work with. Under two minutes and 30 seconds to go in the game for Emory Jones and the offense. No time to dilly-dally as they get the snap off. Once again, the same bubble play to Wilson, who needs to get out of bounds, and he does. It's touchdown or bust, and that's a problem for the Jets because they haven't gotten to the end zone all game long, and this suffocating Dolphins defense is the reason why. Swatting the pass. Third down, middle. 
Howard again is popped. That's about the third time this game. OJ Howard has not hung on to a pass in the seams. And now, game on the line. Fourth down. Jones over the head of Baker. And it's Tywin Wallace. When you need a big conversion, the Jets go to Wallace. And that will take us to the two-minute warning. The Jets trying to keep hope alive. Jones underneath. Trying to get out of bounds. Not going to work. Watch that clock run down for Jones and the offense. They might have to take a shot to the end zone at some point. Feeling a bit of pressure. And that's exactly what they do whoa that's gonna be incomplete should have been intercepted third down and eight instead for jones who is under pressure again it's derrick brown causing havoc and one more time that oj howard connection not working fourth down can the jets convert another fourth down jones backing up end zone open wallace he's got it in bounds touchdown once again the jets escape a season ending failure to convert and this time they get a touchdown and the pat thus making it a six point game and the Jets have all three of their timeouts. Things could get very interesting here as Dotson returns the kickoff, looking to elude the outside man, but he can. Now we're down at our own 16, and Kaylor Bulaj is going to get the handoff. One first down should end this game as Bulaj gets a decent gain. Second down, we're going to keep it on the ground with Bulaj up the middle. Kaylor Bulaj, that is the dagger. Kaylin Bulaj gets the job done on the ground. Brennan is in. It's QB Neal time, and that's it. The Jets can call a timeout here, which they will, just to give themselves one more chance, but, you know, we're obviously just going to kneel the ball. We're not running another play. We're going to take our victory, and the Dolphins, on the back end of some great defense all game long, get the victory and move to a 9-1 and record. Meanwhile, the Jets fall to, I believe, what, 3-7 and seven now, so... That might be a season-ending loss. And I said it, you know, during the game. And it's the way I felt when I was playing this game. I was like, all right, you know, at some point, we just got to be smart with this game. Clearly, the offense is not clicking like it has been the past couple of weeks. We're not airing it out and getting the big play. The Jets are playing good defense. We just have to play smart. We cannot turn it over. And we just got to do whatever it takes to win the game. And, you know, we were doing well to the point where, you know, we should not have given up that touchdown on fourth down. I feel like that fourth down play, I call like a, a defense where the cornerback accidentally pressed. We had our fourth string cornerback pressing Tylen Wallace, so that was just a mistake in play calling right there. Otherwise, you know, we just kept on playing that good defense all game long. And thankfully, you know, that fourth down conversion and the fumble from Jamison Crowder didn't come back to haunt us right there. It looked like Crowder was actually going to get that first down. I really thought he would. And then that weird CJ Mosley animation happened. But, you know, I always say it, man. At least, you know, the wins and losses is the most important thing. And our Dolphins, for whatever reason, we don't always put up those gaudy stats, but we find ways to win games. And that's all that matters at the end of the day. So as you guys see the AFC East standings before we head out today, uh, our Dolphins looking pretty good. The Patriots are really the only threat left. We played the Patriots in a couple of week so definitely going to look forward to that to try to secure the AFC East but for now leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed what you guys saw today subscribe for more Madden 20 gameplays especially if you guys enjoyed this Dolphin CFM and on that note I'll catch you guys next time thank you as always for watching